Heidi here from Rain Country Homestead. God is good all the time. Well, today I'm going to show you how I make, at least how I'm making it today, my homemade lasagna. And it's going to be a little bit different than I'd usually do it because I'm not using lasagna noodles because I'm out of lasagna noodles, but that's okay. So the noodles I'm going to use today, this is my absolute favorite brand of organic pasta, and it is the Montebello. And you can find this on Amazon and I will link to it below. Um, I'm using the farfalle, which is the bow tie pasta. Um, it's not my absolute favorite shape, but I think it will be a good one for the lasagna. And I will still layer it. But I will go ahead and link to this below. However, you know, because I bought, I actually got a lot of these from Amazon. However, if you have a health food store near you or an organic store or something like that, you will most likely find it for a much better price there. So um, Amazon is good if you don't have access because like the closest store like that to us is, it's a ways away. We get in there sometimes and I try to stock up on these when I can, but in a pinch, if I need it, I can go to Amazon. I'm gonna pay a little bit more, but it gets delivered to my door and I still, I still get my good favorite pasta. And then I'm gonna be using my own homemade ricotta cheese. I will be right back when in a bit, I'm gonna go boil my noodles. While my noodles are boiling, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I do with my ricotta cheese. So I'm going to take one egg. If you're going to make a good size batch, you're going to want two eggs and probably more ricotta cheese, but one egg should be enough. And I'm just going to add that in there. It's an organic egg. One of these days we'll have our own chickens and I won't have to barter for eggs or buy the store-bought organic ones. That's about the consistency you're going to want it right there because you're going to want it easy to spread. If it, Ricotta cheese is easy anyway, but if you're using ricotta cheese, it can be a little harder to spread. And especially if you're not going to go with the traditional lasagna noodles like I'm going to do this time, you're going to want this easy to spread across your, your smaller noodles. But I think when it comes to eating it, I think I'm going to enjoy the smaller noodles better. We'll see what happens. So what I'm going to be baking this in, and people have questions on this, because my two favorite things to bake with are, or cook with are stainless steel and cast iron. However, well, in glass. I do have these nice enamelware pans, and this is aluminum, and I try to stay away from aluminum, but since it's enameled, I don't worry so much about the aluminum getting into my food. Now, these came with my solar oven, and they've been very useful in so many ways. They're just the perfect size for a chicken, a beef roast, and I use this on the, I use these on the wood stove and obviously in the solar oven. So these are a good size for me and Mr. Ray to, for me to make a dinner like this and then have extras to make his lunches with. And I will do a video on that too someday. I keep saying I'm going to, but I haven't. Just to show you how I prepare his lunches. And it's just a way to get a good, healthy, frugal lunch to him every day when he goes to work. Okay. So this time I really will be back when the noodles are done and the sauce is done and I'm, I'm ready to put it all together. Okay, so here I am, just finished up the sauce making video and now I'm going on to making the lasagna. So if you haven't seen how, to, how I make my sauce, and it's, it's pretty simple really, but it's all, it's all from scratch, um, go up here and you can find the video to the sauce there. Now the, um, what, the other thing I was going to say about these pans, one of the other reasons I like using them, even when I'm cooking on the wood stove and not just in the solar oven, is that they have their own lid and I don't have to cover with foil. So um, I prefer these kind of pans for making casseroles and soups and all kinds of stuff on my wood stove for that very reason. Now, Kerrygold grass fed butter and my cool little tiny spatula. I love using that to spread with. Here's my weird lasagna thing for this time around. And I honestly have never made lasagna with anything other than lasagna noodles. But hey, it's always nice to try something new. So I'm going to layer some, some uh, noodles at the bottom here. And if you decide to try it this way, which I, I think I'm gonna like. It's just gonna make it harder to spread the ricotta cheese, but we'll give it a try. But I think it will be easier for serving. So, 
even if you're using lasagna noodles, you're going to want to just carefully spread your ricotta cheese around on your noodles. And like I figured, this is going to be a little bit difficult because lasagna noodles <coughs> are big and flat and make it easier for spreading uh, the ricotta cheese on. But this isn't too bad. So I'm going to use half of the ricotta cheese. So, and then I'm going to sprinkle with some grated mozzarella cheese. Now I'm going to confess, this is, was bought at Costco, um, pre-grated, but this is the last, <coughs> once it's gone, I won't be buying it like this anymore. I'll be either getting back into trying to learn how to make the mozzarella, I tried once and failed, or buying it by the brick and grating it myself. Because when you buy the grated cheese, it has, powdered cellulose added to it to uh, keep it from clumping. So it's not that hard to grate your own cheese. So it's a lot better for you to just buy the mozzarella cheese by the brick and grate it yourself. So that's my little confession on this cheese, but I will not be buying it like this anymore after this. So I already added the olives and the meat to the sauce. I've got my I got those layers, so now the next layer is the sauce. And I'm going to end up with a lot of sauce, but there's a lot of veggies in here. And actually, it's better to have more sauce because this is where this is where all your nutrients are, right here. Is in your sauce. Especially with those with those all those herbs and the um, the dehydrated mixed greens that I put in there. So there's my first layer. Now I'm gonna put in my next layer of noodles. Hopefully I'm getting, I'm gonna use my hands this time. Getting my pan in here and I'm gonna find out that this pan is just, is going to be just perfect. I've never actually made lasagna in this pan. Probably because I'm always using the lasagna noodles. See, with the round pan, <laughs> using these noodles, I don't have to work around the weird shape. I don't have to worry about them being rectangular. Okay, so. I used more than half of my ricotta cheese on the on that bottom layer, but that's okay. No big deal. Depending on how much you make of the of your stuff, you're gonna probably want close to two cups of ricotta cheese. Okay, and that's a little thin for the top layer, but I got a good amount on the bottom layer, and we'll just put the rest of this mozzarella on there. That'll make up the difference. Okay, and then the rest of my sauce on top. And honestly, people, this is the first time I've made it like this and in the, this round pan, and so I was just guessing on how much to make when it came to the sauce. And it looks like it came out perfect. So now all I gotta do is, um, when it gets closer to dinner time, I'm gonna put it on the wood stove about an hour before we're ready to eat. And basically all that is to do is to heat it through and to um, get the cheese good and melted in there. Now, if you're using this in a conventional oven or baking it in a conventional oven, you're just going to set it on about, oh, I think, gosh, it's been a long time since I've done this in a conventional oven. I think about 350 for about 20 to 30 minutes. And, they, and again, it's just to heat it through and get your cheese good and melted. And it's really that easy. Lasagna is not that hard to make. And the sauce is not that hard to make, as you'll see if you, when you watch my other video. And also don't forget to watch for eventually, I don't know how long from now that'll be, I will be doing a video on how to make your own ricotta cheese. So, okay. Thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.